Today's video, we try to understand smart coding and interview series overview. How to crack any companies in this world or how to build your own company here? What is the secret behind achieving this kind of aspects? So the goals of the course, having two fundamental goals here. The first goal is people always throw a problem in your, in your work. So maybe when you start your career here, you start with the small problems here with experience we're getting more and more then obviously you're you know exposed to much more bigger problems here but ultimately problems are always given to you and you should have two skills at the lowest level so when a problem is given i should be able to build solutions you know how to solve those problems with computers the second goal is how to really translate those ideas into code can i become a free flow cloder for what are thoughts i'm really getting with computer these two are the fundamental goals we kept as part of uh, you know the smart coding and interview series the byproducts of you know having these skills are you now if you go to any product company either test or interview here or whatever type of screening they do here so always they look for because in business they get a problems here so if the candidate is having a problem solving ability here that's what you're worth here that's why cracking a product company starting from the top-notch companies here to even a very very low-end company that is a fundamental skill we require even nowadays, I'm seeing up services companies are also changing their mindset to really interview based on problem solving ability instead of recalling some kind of facts, you know. So the reason is, so they found that these guys couldn't cope up with the realistic problems when they face it up. That's why the byproduct is you can crack any product company in this world. Second byproduct of this, you know, having these two skills was there's other variety of, uh, you know, problems called competitive problems here. There's so many sites on internet, you can find it up, starting from top coder. And you can see, you know, Codechef, you can see Usaco, you can see some, you know, some more sites. Code forces are there, even Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank, how many sites? You can build your own site, Lead Code, Lint Code, just for naming some of the few sites now. But all these guys, what they're really giving out is, they're giving a problems in a neat form and also with the judge to really, you know, to evaluate your solutions now. But to really crack any of such kind of, you know, competitive problems, what is that necessary? They're always giving a problem to you. That's why your thinking ability and coding ability can definitely fulfill this automatically. That is second byproduct. The third byproduct of having these two skills is, since we're moving on to the AI era here, so everything is, machine is building up solutions for us from bunch of data, now, how does machines are really building up a patterns or solutions? This is what we call it as AI algorithms now. So if you don't really have ability to build your own algorithms now, you cannot understand the AI algorithms in a way. That's why. So third byproduct is you can understand the AI algorithms with ease once you can able to have these two skills. That is what the fundamental goal. So we really set up as part of this series. The question is, how do you get those skills? There are the two paths I'm seeing most often across people here, the first path people can choose is remember and recall. There's so many forms of remembering uh, I, I'm able to observe across lots of people here. The first form is going to be, when I say solve problem, maybe take a textbook, start reading from start to end. What do you really get by reading a textbook from start to end? So textbook is a summary or maybe the kind of experience the other have it up, you present in one systematic form. If you don't have an experience now, what is the other is doing up? What kind of thoughts is communicating? How do you get it up here? Because your mind is not, you know, it's not given a chance to think, then obviously you're just feeding them. You're just asking your mind to remember them here. Tomorrow, luckily the same problem comes up, you may recall one of them here. The second kind of approach people have taken was, take some internet site where problem solution, problem solutions are given. People properly by heart these solutions. Luckily, by chance, if the company interview the same problem comes good, but if the slight variation comes up, these guys are tram gets tremors in interview, that's why they completely lose control of it. The reason is, they try to mug up so many things into the mind here, mind doesn't have a scope to think. It's a second approach, you can choose, but this is what you're going to get it up. The third one is, even I can start here, take a problem, keep on feeding all of them without giving a chance or ability to, you know, think and experience what kind of benefit is having up. That's why. So we have before us the path number one where you can remember from any of these possible ways now. Now, whenever a tomorrow a new one of the problems comes up, you could be able to recall it. So these are the some of the effects you really get if you choose this path. 
how many solutions can be remembered you take all these websites problems now surely it's millions of problems now even if total lifetime you spend on these problems here you cannot remember them that's why i do think that this is a painful process the second one is even if you somehow luckily got same problem and you got clear interview here now you are working on a product in a team again a new problem comes up then who will help you there unless your mind doesn't really have ability to think it up so you cannot really move further that's end of your road that's why so always i say that so that's other pain i'm saying it up the third one is what in interview i give a slight variation i understood that i remembered the solution and i give slight variation of that that's it then you don't have any clue what to do when a new variation comes up and the biggest pain in this kind of approach was fear when you go to interview here instead of thinking on a problem you're always fearing about so can i recall can i really you know able to remember all of them or not this this moment of or a transfer of your energy to the fear is much more painful than thinking innovation these are the effects and normally see if you choose this path there's one more path available so which i see so any company who are builds it up you see the way they built it up and the, the the top notch people in our company you always observe here so this is what the kind of path normally i see norm, uh, they pick it up the first thing they do here is they expand the thinking process here when the problem comes up maybe initially they don't have any way to really know how to attack the problems but surely by acquiring those you know thinking skills they become slowly confident on solving a problem but just thinking is not enough here we need to have an experience also here so that's why when the problems are coming we got some bunch of thoughts let's see how they really work it up by doing the experimentation we get a more practical insight so you know to really get into you know more deeper into the problems and innovation that's why the second path i just label it as you now thinking and experience based system innovation what kind of effects this system normally gives us these are the effects so definitely we need a few patterns i just cannot go on think for any arbitrary problem here i need to have some patterns but those patterns you have to understand with experience not by just feeding it up that's why we need some base to have our own thought when a problem is posed up how does your mind starts thinking you tell me here you just now take a problem ask your mind to think how can mind automatically think it up there should be something in your mind maybe previously you feed it up so many facts information now i'm asking it to feed experience is more more you experience it up your thought process becomes natural issue and also they become very practical issue the second thing is you don't have fear go to interview here they give other problem issue you already learning the problems how to solve they give other problem just start doing the same kind of thing so where is the you know uh, scope for really you know transferring our energy to fear our only focus on enjoy the problem how much you can able to solve, solve it you just take hints from the interviewer and keep on attacking a problem in multiple dimensional ways third thing is we don't have to really you know worry about what if a new problem interview poses it up everything we always take up as a new problem here then where is the worry about what if that guy comes with a variation you start thinking in other dimension from your existing thinking process some combinations you change it up you may get slightly different thought that's what you all has to do when a new problem or variation comes up and second thing is confidence in avisha because you have your own ability here your own experiences now you become more confident in yourself here that reflects in your team so team of work that is one of the obvious benefits you get it up and other common term i'm saying is how can you become creative thinker out of box thinker or lateral thinker what does this really mean if you see it up any creativity or out of box thinking it should come from your memory your memory should have some kind of things to really you know make a permutation combinations to bring some creative thought but your memory is filled up with facts and information not experiences and thoughts now where is the chance of creativity here so creativity is not you know is labeled as a very you know a, a big term but ideally at lowest level it's all in your memory what is there which combination permutations you want to bring on the merit of the problem here that's why once you start doing up thinking expansion and experiences your creativity becomes natural that's what we always say the other effect of this approach now your brand value ship so what is the value of yours when i come when i'm recruiting for your business or if you want to do any valuation of on yourself how do i value ship not because for degree maybe degree well say little percentage maybe your iit graduate or mit graduate a stanford graduate your value will be initially little high but 
after that what ex what what actually matters is going to be what kind of experiences you have it what kind of problems you have a you know ability to able to attack them help the business innovation the second aspect is going to be your mind so what if a new problem comes up do you have ability to really think of this problem in a different ways now come up with what they call a better practical solutions now that's why we should not worry too much about your, your college or institution in a way it might matter a little bit but after that everything else is going to be your experience and your mind that's why you always focus on these two aspects now your value automatically gets higher and higher so without you know your intervention so this is the truth i have discovered for a period of time when i'm seeing up you know when i'm seeing the people how they're really moving up when i'm training it out here this is the first aspect so what should i do here when you really come to our place or when i when i really start with the channel here so i'm not here to really teach what is in google here it's taking a problem giving bunch of solutions now you can do that the only purpose of me here is take a problem i'm going to explore the problem here so how do you really attack the problem how do i think it up if i can show my thinking process you also see that okay do you understand how i'm thinking about take some of the things here you start think on your own here so my purpose here is to to demonstrate how do i really think when a problem is given to me here that's what for me truly so the joy in education here the second thing i want really uh, you know i understood was what kind of knowledge i want really get valued in education is it facts if i remember the factual knowledge is valued just google it at the same facts you can retrieve it up i don't have any value which machine does it doing it up the second thing which i i see here is concepts people have remembered so many concepts now that is technically called conceptual knowledge and ambition concept is an imagination we don't have direct contact with it what kind of value conceptual knowledge gives it up that's what we are hammered our minds here for so many years with the name of an education here by all these concepts and facts but but the, i'm sure if you recall your complete lifetime what are years you have spent it up how much really your education is valuing up to your current you know position you understand the truth of it the only thing you, you got a value was your experiential knowledge so that's why so i'm here to not only demonstrate how i'm thinking about how do i take those thought process to experience them sure this is what really makes you know creates a value for every human being and every shit so finally what i'm doing here so people when i say you know uh, evolve we keep on evolving it up i'm saying just inverse process here. we just have to go back to our childhood where i don't have any ego here in our mind all i'm having is get something here direct contact play with it experience with it, getting a joy that's how i become a creative ship all we have to do here is just build a system via this uh, you know platform to really make ourselves here become more joyful more experiential here and also so enjoy the learning here so that's what ideally so what we want to do here as part of you know this channel and also part of every series in the first series our target is on fundamentally a low level problems how do you think and how do you really code them sure and other series as we focus on little more high level problems here we'll talk about them you know in next coming up videos